to way to, in my opinion, uh, I'm going, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm try to put this in words where my viewers and subscribers can, uh, you know, basically not necessarily agree with me, but be in the ballpark of knowing, or, you know, understanding exactly what I'm about to say. If that makes sense. <clears throat> DTR struggled. He was a fifth round pick. What do you expect from a fifth round pick? I get in preseason, he showed promise. He showed that there perhaps might be some potential there for him to become you know, or be on the path of greatness, if that makes sense. But you have to keep in mind it was preseason, okay? It was preseason. The game against Baltimore, and also you have to keep in mind, it was reported that Deshaun Watson, even though he did not throw it all in practice this week, well, I'm sorry, last week, um, that he was going to play in Sunday's game against the Ravens, right? All the way up until, I, I guess, he was medically cleared by the doctors, by the, you know, the Browns, I, I don't know, his doctors or the Browns doctors, I don't, whoever cleared him, he was cleared, right? But it was Deshaun Watson who decided not to play. Take it however it is, you, 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 can, you can just take this and run with it if that makes sense. Why he did, why he made that decision at the last minute, but okay, it was made and oh, what's his name? I want to say it's Dorian, ah oh, man Thompson Robinson, I believe that's his full name, but they call him DTR. Again, he's a fifth round pick. Yeah, he showed promise in the preseason, but again, you're asking a rookie, and I could be wrong what I'm saying, but you're asking a rookie, a rookie quarterback to go in. And play a a, 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 a a game of importance, if that makes sense. Not not you know not important to the to the to a point where if you don't win this game you won't make the playoffs, right? Or if you can't win us this game we won't go to the Super Bowl. Not to that level of importance, if that makes sense. But you still asking him to go, you know, go in at the last minute basically. And figure out the playbook on the on. I, I want to say on the fly. The game speed in the NFL is it, kind of tricky, in my opinion, because it's so much different from preseason to actually regular season, if that makes sense. So, um, I don't know if that's why DTR performance was so bad on sun, um, Sunday this past Sunday, as far as him at the quarterback position. Like I said this in a short vet segment. He threw a lot of passes that was underthrown. He stared out a receiver here and there. Um, he, uh, it, I, he, he also held the ball, right? He held the ball uh, at times where he should have just dropped back through the three strut drop, had a, the uh, imaginary clock or game clock in his head, head where – one, two, three, or however they utilize that clock. That just like most, or if I'm gonna say all quarterbacks, I'm just gonna say all quarterbacks in the NFL are supposed to have that type of imaginary game clock in their head where drop back three and I throw the ball. But I'm not saying that's how it's utilized, you know, as far as in how it's supposed to be utilized in their mind, right? And how they have to imagine it, if that makes sense. But getting back to. Um, like I said, getting back to DTR, it basically, like I said, I saw those three things where he was under, under, you know, he was throwing balls at the ground when receivers were open. He was under throwing them on deep balls. He was, you know, just it just seemed like the timing was. I don't, I, I, I don't know how to describe it because it, it from you know from watching it from afar, it looked like this guy's never played football before. In my opinion, I could be wrong what I'm saying in my assessment of what I saw, but I'm just 
doing the eye test the best of my ability. And I just felt that he didn't know what he was doing out there or he just never played professional football, organized football before. Because some of the passes he was throwing, it was like he was, you know, trying to, you know, th throw the ball on the deep pass routes, right? He was, it was like he was trying to throw it with all his strength. Like, it was like he was straining just to throw a deep ball in the, in the NFL. In the, in the NFL, a quarterback, even an average quarterback, I, I even think the below average quarterbacks in the NFL can still throw a deep ball without straining to do it, right? But that's what it looked like with DTR when he was throwing the deep balls, in my opinion. That's what it looked like to me. And then, yeah, of course, he couldn't pick up the blitz at all. He could... He couldn't read the defense at all. Then when he would drop back, yeah, he would hold the ball. And then that's, you know, how the Ravens would get most of their sacks, right? And then, of course, the interceptions, they were just bad throws because he wasn't reading. The, it, I mean, again, it seemed like he didn't know where the receiver was going to be or he thought the receiver was going to be there and he threw it there, but the receiver was supposed to be, in, you know, on this side of the field or in the middle of the field, something like that. I'm just throwing stuff in there now. But... Yeah, basically, how I see it is, it was just it was just bad quarterback play by DTR, and those are just a few of the things I can think of to uh, name of how bad his play at the quarterback position was. But I, I can't again when you have this, it is like uninspiring, if that makes sense. When you have a quarterback and you know that he can't play, if that makes sense. I'm trying not to be, I don't want to be rude or disrespectful. I hope I'm not coming off rude or disrespectful. But it is uninspiring when you realize your quarterback is not going to get the job done. Let's say it like that. So I think that's why the defense, even though, you know, initially starting the game, they was hyped, they played lights out, right? But I just think the turnovers and I think the one was by Elijah Moore where he fumbled the ball and the Browns seemed like they were in position to score and then I think it was some other plays where it just de deflated the defense to a point where they just didn't have the energy no more they when you constantly keep going three and out three and out and three out unless you got a defense like the Baltimore Ravens had back in the day where them dudes was just straight animals bees they they brought they brought the fire to opposing offenses in the NFL during those years that that defense was so stout and I'm talking about the Baltimore Ravens back in the day I'm talking about Ray Lewis Terry Suggs uh Ed Reed just to name a few there's some other ones on, on that on that great defensive teams during the years they won their Super Bowls, I, them are the three I can remember: Ed Reed, Terry Stuggs, and um, um, oh um, gosh, <laughs> uh, my brain got Swiss cheese for a second. Ray Ray Lewis, and everybody knew how what type of monsters they was. Them dudes was pitting shutouts damn near that those that year. And I want to say it was a year. Oh, I wish I could remember that year. All I remember is I want to say it was two thousand one, maybe. I just remember that that year they won the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl. It had to be either 2000 or 2001. One of those years. I could be wrong. I'm going to have to check my notes on that one. But, yeah, they was shutting out teams that whole entire year dang there. Now, I ain't going to say the majority of the teams they were shutting out, but they was pitching shutouts during that season they won the Super Bowl, right? But unless you had a defense defense like that, no, I like to think most defenses that that are you know great are still gonna be you know it's gonna get to the point where if an off if the offense can't move the ball they're eventually gonna get tired. And plus, I think Baltimore figured out some things on offense that you know to pretty much get the ball moving on their side of the ball, right? With Lamar Jackson and, and they was running a lot of motion plays if that makes sense. And, th yeah, there would be plays where um, they'd run the motion and then all of a sudden Lamar Jackson would hand the ball to the running back and he will get some yards here and there. Of course, Lamar 
has improved his accuracy as far as in throwing the football and staying in the pocket even when pressure is coming. Even though, yeah, he still takes off and runs like a gazelle, he still can stay in the pocket, right, and, you know, make throw accurate passes. So, yeah, it was a combination of that, and there was a lot of other combinations, but those are the only two I can remember. And, I mean, it's when you got that all going on, it's just like, oh, man, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like, what can you do, if that makes sense? What can you do? 